Hello, Scorpio. This is Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net. Go check us out, please, if you feel like it. And uh, the energy for the middle of August, the 15th, through to the end of the month, 2018. And if you like the video, please share, please thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And let's see what the energy has to say for us today. And, yep, let's see which one feels right. They both work, doesn't matter. <laughs> there are two of them called my name. So we'll try the king first. Man, authority, male, sensuality, and energy. Things pertaining to the law and justice. And the butterfly, it's beauty. So once for the male energy, once for the female energy. I'm not saying that it has to be for females and for males, just for the energy of the of the uh, male female. All right, let's see. But it looks like too Scorpio is going to have two levels of energy this week. One where you watch the uh, watch the. Uh, the law and, and very physical living in the present phys, uh, present dimension and the other is to enjoy life from a sense of beauty and grace all right there oh beautiful the wheel of fortune I really like this card because it is a card of moving up of shifting directions not shifting directions you can keep going the same direction but on a higher level. Uh, and when you come to the end of a cycle and you start a new one, generally the beginning of the new cycle is very positive. Let's cross our fingers and hope that that is the truth. Why not? Because because the next card is a Princess of Cups, and the Princess of Cups is the wise inner child. Not the damaged inner child, but the wise inner child. That means, I'm not quite sure what it means yet. Let's find out. Okay. So I'll see what that means later. So this is the chariot, a major arcana. And this is a card of remaining in balance or staying, pulling yourself back into balance. It's also a card of staying on the same route. Obviously, it's not exactly the same. It will have different landmarks than we were expecting because you've raised up. But allow your inner child to guide you because the inner child is basically an energy of the subconscious or super subconscious. And it knows what we're looking for. It knows what, we, what we're capable of doing. And she, he, will guide you. The energy that's coming in after is the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, as a human being, is a very confident person. Knows what she likes and likes the good things in life. The energy is very similar. It is a powerful energy being very aware of who you are and moving into that energy if, with confidence and grace. Know what you want and doesn't mean it has to stay the same knowing or same wanting. It can shift to you're not stuck there forever. But know what you want right now and allow the energy to move you forward with grace and aplomb. And what happens after that? I think this is the card I was, oh yeah, definitely. Another major arcana, this is the justice card. And the justice card for me is the light worker card. The card that cuts away all that which is not necessary, all the dross, and, and cutting away, it's a choice. We make that choice. But as you cut it away, your third eye becomes more prominent. You become more aware. And the moon has a lot of significance, which is, again, 
the subconscious coming into play but it makes your heart light like a feather so this is and this is a positive card but over this over the decades more so than eons it's being a light worker has been very difficult I think it's changing I think it's shifting and that's why we got the Queen of Pentacles because there's a confidence there that we've never had before there's more of us there's many people who are willing to share and do do what is necessary and now it has become a mark of pride to be a way shore or an energy bearer to help the world transform and is that good or bad I think it's pretty awesome myself and we're pulling in the men finally the king of wands and this is a gentleman if it's a man this is a gentleman who sits back watches is very aware of what's happening will not interfere unless he's asked if it's if it's a energy again it's a wise energy that's coming in and you all you have to do is reach out for it pull it towards you and utilize that knowledge for yourself you don't have to know how you understand or why you why you've got it all right but this would also take you back to the physical that we're living in right now which means watch dealing with laws and uh, pomp and ceremony you always want to do it with confidence and you do want to do it using your psychic abilities or your in intuition and you do want to look out for that which is beautiful in the life so that you're not swamped by all that all that heavy duty energy of courts or laws or man-made institutions all right let's see what the last card is the owl huh, it's, com it's a oxymoron the owl deception or wisdom so you can have a choice you can be deceptive or you can be deceived or you can come out on the size of side of wisdom all these cards are telling you you are coming out on the side of wisdom search for the beauty allow the uh, allow the laws and justice of the land to work for your benefit and if they don't work for your benefit then think very seriously about finding a way to change them it just takes a few th hundred thousand to change a law I'm assuming but we can do that we are that powerful with that i'm going to say namaste namasko